Honorable Member from Charlottetown, Belvedere. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Not all islanders have experienced the pandemic in the same way. For many, it has been a very scary, overwhelming, and tiring experience that is not going to end even as the restrictions are lifted and we begin to move back into business as usual. For some people with disabilities, for seniors, the immunocompromised, kids under five, and those unable to get a vaccine, this pandemic has been completely isolating and they will continue to be left behind as the rest of us go out and about. As we unmask, they are at even greater risk. We know that this government loves to talk about how it's about people. Good neighbours taking care of each other, the gentle island and our folksy charm and goodwill seeing us through. But over and over during these past two years, we've seen that for this government, it's about people should actually have a big asterisk next to it. Some conditions apply. If you're a low-income islander or working a minimum job with no contract, some conditions apply. If you're an international student or a newcomer with no social safety net, then some conditions will apply. If you're a person with a disability or a senior with limited resources, some conditions will apply. And if you're a parent whose kids are too young to be vaccinated yet, conditions apply too. Over and over, the official opposition has fought to fill the gaps in programs and services that would otherwise leave our most vulnerable populations unsupported. These are gaps that a government that really is for everyone should never have left unfilled. We fought for financial supports during the early days of the pandemic for workers, international students and community groups. We fought for rental subsidies and parental leave, cash for nonprofits, daycares and caregivers. We're still fighting for paid sick leave, for tenant protection, for a secure and dignified retirement for our seniors, for increased supports for people with disabilities, safe shelter for the homeless, and real support for those struggling with mental illness or addiction. We all want the pandemic to be over. We need our shops and services open for business with people working and the economy rebounding. But we cannot forget that we must include all islanders in that story of fresh starts. No conditions applied.